Multiplying matrices can be a time-consuming procedure, but in these three examples, we'll be able to compute the product of the matrices more or less by inspection. And that's because these matrices are diagonal matrices. If you look at any of these matrices, you can see that the only non-zero entries are on the diagonals. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing diagonal matrices and going over some of their properties. For this exercise, all we have to know is that when we multiply diagonal matrices together, that has the effect of just multiplying their diagonal entries. For example, when we do this first example, the first row gets matched up with the first column, and that has the effect of multiplying 4 by negative 1. The rest is 0, so negative 4. And then we would have this row matched up with column 2, and that's just going to be 4 times 0 plus 0 times 5. So that entry off the diagonal hasn't changed, it's still just 0. Then we would have row 2 matched up with column 1. That would be 0 times negative 1 plus 3 times 0, which is 0. And then this last entry is back on the main diagonal, and we see how that's going to end up being 3 times 5, which is the product of these diagonal entries, and that's 15. And so we see how multiplying these diagonal matrices has the effect of just multiplying their diagonal entries. In this next example, we have 3 by 3 matrices. Let's do the multiplication quickly by just multiplying the diagonal entries. Here, the first entry of the product will be 3 times 5, which is 15. The rest of this row, since it's off the diagonal, will consist of zeros. Then this entry will also be a zero. Then this next entry is a diagonal entry, so it's going to be 1 times 4, so just 4. Off the diagonal, we have zeros, and then this last diagonal entry is going to be negative 2 times 7, so negative 14. Even when multiplying more than two diagonal matrices together, the process is the same. The first entry is on the diagonal, so we would just multiply these three diagonal entries, 2 times 0 times 7, and so this happens to be 0. Note that this second matrix, for example, has a zero on its diagonal, but it's still a diagonal matrix. What makes it a diagonal matrix is that all of its non-zero entries are on the diagonal. Coming back to our product, all of these entries not on the diagonal are zero. This entry is on the diagonal, so it will be the product of the diagonal entries, negative four, times negative 3 times 4. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12 times 4 is positive 48. And then these off diagonal entries will be 0. And then this next entry is again on the diagonal, so we'll multiply diagonal entries together. 1 times 8 times negative 2. That's going to be negative 16. Finally, we come to our last diagonal entry. So we'll multiply the diagonal entries together, and that's 0 times 1 times 2. So this last entry is just 0. And that's how easy it is to multiply diagonal matrices. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.